Inside the Supreme Court in New Delhi, three out of five judges handed down a ruling that many had been wanting to hear for decades. We are very happy. Uh, we have won. Uh, the bench has ruled out triple talaq. Uh, the bench has held that triple talaq is invalid. It is invalid uh, as per the uh, Constitution. It is invalid as per the Quran. The Muslim custom allows men to divorce their wives by saying the word talaq or divorce three times or even simply sending it through SMS. More than 20 Muslim countries have already banned the practice, but India allows for religious bodies to have control over some rules relating to marriage, divorce and property. The change, say some, is a big victory for women's rights. I think actually an extremely important judgment because I think Muslim women were able to cut through the sort of patriarchies that, um, you know, surround all of us and to go to the Supreme Court and ask for justice. India's Muslim Law Board and Conservatives in Muslim society say the practice of triple talaq is wrong, but they opposed court intervention and unsuccessfully argued for the matter to be left to the community to tackle. The problem is that the Indian Muslims think that if you open the doors for such interference by courts and by parliament and by governments and Muslim personal laws, uh, there, will, there won't be any end. There's so many things they will uh, try to, to change. The Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his party had been calling for the legal provision to be quashed. After the court's decision, he tweeted, it grants equality to Muslim women and is a powerful measure for women empowerment. The Supreme Court's ruling means there's an instant suspension of the practice for at least six months, while Parliament enacts a new divorce law. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera.